About six months ago, I did a video on a layer one proof of stake blockchain that I thought could be the next Cardano. I'd added it to my position and I said I thought it had real upside in the next bull market. And since that point in time, we've seen it rise over 50% in value. We've seen dozens of new dApps being built on it. And when many other layer one cryptos have experienced mass issues in terms of gas fees or in terms of outages, this project has held up very nicely. And I wanted to go over it again because there's a few major updates that I need to share with you and I have added more to my position yet again. So the project is called Everscale and for those of you who didn't see our other videos, we're gonna do a brief overview but we'll also link those videos down below. Everscale is a layer one proof of stake blockchain that ultimately aims at solving the scalability issues in the web 3.0 and crypto space in general. As you have seen, when you start seeing more people use different blockchains, let's say like Ethereum, well, gas fees become an issue. When people start using Solana more, well, there's a lot of outages and network outages and problems there. But with Everscale, the thing that I liked about it and the thing that stood out to me months ago and which still stands out to me is its unique approach to its blockchain. It has dynamic multi-threading and sharding technology and the blockchain consists of a master chain and a multitude of shards called work chains. And ultimately the way it works is this master chain contains all block proofs from all work chains in the network. So the network security depends on it. Let's say like a Polkadot or Ethereum 2.0, but unlike other blockchains, chains, Everscale ultimately it has sharding that is dynamic, meaning that a new work chain can be added anytime when the capacity of the current work chains is almost utilizing. So the important thing here and the simplest way to explain it is that this network and this blockchain can easily scale up long term when you have more dApps built on it, when there's more data being used, when there's more people using the blockchain, it can easily scale up long term and you don't have to worry about issues that other blockchains have faced and the issues we have seen across the entire crypto space. So long term, when you want a solution, you need something that can scale. This one does that. So with Everscale, it ultimately can adapt to the workload. And that is why I originally added it to my position. But now we have seen major announcements and investments from major VCs that you need to keep an eye out on. And it has only increased my conviction even more on the project. So when you're looking at Everscale, a few things that stand out is that right now there's about 65 million total transactions on the blockchain. When we talked about it six months ago, there was only 38 million, nearly doubled. We could see that in addition to total transactions for total blocks, it's now at 1.7 Gs. Last time it was at 1.2 Gs. When you're looking at... Um, when you're looking at accounts, they've surpassed 1 million total accounts, now at 1.1 million total accounts, crossing that major milestone. And back in July, 2022, they had 756,000. So you've seen across the entire board increases for all aspects of its blockchain, which is very important. You like to see that growth helps out long-term. It shows you that it's an active network. It shows you that people actually are using it. Now we're looking at the ecosystem. There's a few things that stand out. For um, Everscale's ecosystem, they've built dozens of dApps on its platform. When you're looking at the ecosystem, you can see they have a total of 78 different projects ranging from DeFi protocols to games to wallets to NFTs, DEXs, aggregators, and all aspects of the crypto space. You can see they have projects in nearly every single sector. Last video, we talked about Eversurf, we talked about Everwallet, and we talked about a few other projects in particular on its blockchain. But for those of you who didn't see that already, it has very useful useful tools, whether you need to buy and sell crypto, whether you want for NFTs, whether you're looking for a wallet, Everscale had some unique um, dApps that millions of people are already using. So keep an eye out on this as its ecosystem continues to grow. The thing that really stands out to me though, as of recently, before we get into its price and what has been going on there, is gonna be with a massive investment that Venom Ventures just announced for Everscale. Venom Ventures is a $1 billion investment fund and they just announced a $5 million strategic investment in the Everscale blockchain. This literally just happened and ultimately, this has been one of the reasons why I have doubled down on my position. So with Venom Ventures, they committed $5 million uh, to Everscale to help it further expand its development team and boost the number of projects. So like I said, they have um, about 78 projects currently, but this investment will help just continue to grow that. And according to Venom Ventures Fund Chairman, Peter Nez, who is an ex-CIO of BlackRock, he said, for us, this is a strategic investment aimed at the technological development of projects and teams around technologies that we focus on and actively develop. In particular, we are talking about Venom blockchain project, its ecosystem,
ecosystem and which is planned to be launched soon for which Everscale is a potential layer two solution. So ultimately he says he sees a future where Venom Ventures and Venom Blockchain's project uh, works together closely with Everscale and Everscale potentially being a layer two solution. So either way, this gives me a lot of confidence in the project because when you're seeing that a billion dollar investment fund that is managed by the ex-CIO of BlackRock talk about this potential and real use of a blockchain long term, should probably make you turn heads and probably make you do a little bit of research into it. So that is one of the many reasons why I have continued to double down on my position in Everscale since July of 2022. Last few things with Everscale is going to be looking at its token. When you're looking at Everscale, currently it's around 11 cents per coin, and it is already available on many exchanges, ranging from KuCoin to Gate.io to Huobi to MEXC, uh, BitTrue, and many more. And you can see that it is by no means a small project. It is currently ranked 100 and 52 in terms of total cryptocurrency market caps. And this is up significantly from where it was just six months ago when it was at 250, around 250. So it has increased its position by nearly 100 positions in terms of the top cryptocurrency projects. And this shows you that despite being in a bear market, it has been making major, major moves. And that is exactly what you want to see when you are looking at getting involved in a project, something that is able to grow and and do better than all the other projects when the market is struggling. And that is exactly what Everscale has done. So yes, recently, just today, price is down significantly. Many altcoins are taking a bit of a hit, but that is a perfect opportunity, at least in my opinion, to add to my position in it as the price is still higher than where it was six months ago when I did the video on it. We've still seen massive growth in its ecosystem. And red days are usually days that I like to buy crypto. I like to buy stocks. I like to buy different positions because it makes me feel better. I don't like buying on green days. I like buying thinking I'm getting a discount. So that is what I've been doing as of recently with Everscale. And I just want to share with you an update on its overall blockchain, what has been going on, and just in general, what is going on with its entire um, development. So hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.